All right, this is an animation. Uh, we're, you're going to see little balls running through here that are different colors. Uh, is they're uh, spheres that represent the temperature of the water. Uh, they come out initially as teal sphere, spheres, uh, representing that they're partially cool. They go through dry cooler and get even colder and start cooling the core and work their way outward. So I'm going to start the animation and just kind of narrate it as it goes. All right, so here's the cold water uh, coming out of the building, passing through the dry cooler there and uh, running dry. It's the winter time. And so the water's being cool. You can see here now we get to the adiabatic dry cooler that I just showed you. It pulls more heat out and cools the water down even further, at which time the water passes through the reversing valves uh, that you saw earlier. Uh, this is an actual CAD drawing from that job. And then they pass through the beatus, which is represented on the left here, is the spheres going from blue to green, representing that they've given up their heat. And they're heading back to the building to allow it to be heated. They pass through the crossover pipe, back to the building. The building pulls load out and cools it down. All the while this is happening, the core is getting cooled. And so you see this blue. Our goal is to take that blue cylinder and push it all the way out to the perimeter by the end of winter. And then at the uh, end of winter, we're fully charged which time you'll see in the animation here we reverse the flow and instead of the uh, spheres leaving the perimeter they're going to flow into the perimeter that's represented initially here by the warm water coming from the building it's uh it's too hot outside to use a dry cooler so we're going to bypass it although we can use it if we need to reversing valves are closed at this point the warm water from the building gets cooled uh, first green and then blue uh, bypasses the reversing valves heads back to the building Get delivering the coal to the building who gratefully gives us its heat and back we go again. So this would be the so-called discharging mode. So we're discharging our coal. That's represented here by the, by the red spheres leaving the building, skipping the uh, crossover valves, passing through the boreholes, consuming the cold from the outward end, warming up the perimeter, but that's great. We got the, those are outer boreholes. They got an infinite amount of land out there to dissipate their heat. So we are deliberately putting the uh, heat to the perimeter. And then this is just in, meaning to indicate that uh, after that's over, it becomes winter again. We start uh, chilling the core down again and let it expand and the, the cycle goes, uh, goes all over again. So uh, that's what that animation is intended to indicate.